Hello everyone, welcome to the turning point. In this session, let's learn the concept of zero force member. In a truss, every member won't take the load. There are certain members which doesn't take any load. Nothing but the axial force present in those members is zero. Such kind of members are called as zero force members. Here I will explain that concept with the consideration of an example. Here I have considered a truss in that point joint A and E are supported by means of A is supported by means of hinge support and E by means of roller support. You can observe an external force at joint D. AB is a member, BC is a member. So like that there are several members. So here when I consider equilibrium of point B. First I have represented that point B. So here point B is having connection with uh, three members AB, BC and BD. I am assuming that along each and every member there is tensile force. So when I consider member AB, so there is tensile force along member AB. So I have represented like that. When I consider member BC, along that there is tensile force. Next when I consider member BD, I am representing tensile force along that away from the point like that. So here joint B is subjected to three forces. If you observe there, two forces are having a certain property which is nothing but collinearity. So tension along AB, tension along BC. So if you observe those two forces, so they are collinear in action. Suppose here if I apply sigma Fy equal to 0, only the vertical force present in the system is PBD. So therefore PBD will be equal to 0. Here if you observe, uh, there are 3 forces only, not less than 3, not more than 3, only there are 3 forces and in that 2 forces are collinear. Then the non-collinear force will become 0. This is nothing but the statement uh, which is useful in uh, finding zero force member. When a joint is subjected to three forces in which two forces are collinear in action, then the non-collinear force will become zero. So in this way you can uh, find the zero force member. It is very easy to calculate whether the non-collinear force is vertical or horizontal or is it inclined. Whatever may be the case, always it is going to be zero. The condition is there should be uh, three forces and in that three forces, in those three forces, two forces should be collinear. Okay, the remaining force which is non-collinear force that is going to be zero. So in this way you can calculate zero force member. Hope it is useful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.